This video is going to be a quick start guide on sending custom trading view signals to Bybit. It takes around 10 minutes to set up from start to finish. Pause the video, read the disclaimer, and we'll get started. For this tutorial, you're going to need a Bybit account and a tradingview.com account. If you're new to Bybit or TradingView, don't forget to check out these referral links for some nice freebies. We'll also be using a custom trading view script called the Advanced DCA tool. It's got tons of great features to help you customize and come up with your own trading strategies. First, let's go over to trading view. Go up to indicators, down to invite only scripts, type emu moon. In this example, we're going to be using the latest version 5.03. If you don't already see it, get free access by clicking the link. Welcome to the advanced DCA tool. We're going to hit apply. And whilst we're here, we're also going to add the symbol searcher. Again, we're going to hit apply. Now, when you first add these two to your chart, you'll get two long dialog boxes with lots of data in them. These can be quite unsightly. What I like to do is get rid of them. To do this, go up to the top, press the three dots, down to settings, status line, and now we're going to uncheck arguments and values. And you'll notice that all of this has disappeared. This is also important if you're sharing screenshots as it hides sensitive information. Next, I like to run my charts in dark mode. It just helps with eye strain if you're looking at the charts for long periods of time. Let's find a coin to trade. So let's open up the symbol searcher. It's preloaded with a bunch of cool coins. You can manually input the coins you want individually, or you can copy and paste from a list. I'm going to enable this coin list that I've pre-selected. And now the symbol searcher tool has told me this is one of the best coins to trade from our selection. Obviously, you'll need to do your own research and make sure that this is a project that you're happy to invest in. But for now, we're going to go up to the top left type in chr usdt we're trading perpetuals and we want to make sure the data is provided by bybit so now we don't need this anymore we can uncheck the view icon on the symbol searcher and we can check the icon on the advanced dca tool now it's time to do some back testing you can use trading views inbuilt strategy tester you can also use the trading statistics table built into the advanced dca tool to view the results and performance over time we won't go too deeply into the intricacies of different settings in this video that'll be for another time i'm really happy with these we've got some excellent entry positions some very effective dollar cost averaging and we've taken advantage of some great exit positions We've been able to get in and out of deals effectively and consistently take profits without incurring too much drawdown. Once we're happy with our backtesting results, we're going to set up a live trade. If it's your first time setting up a live trade, it's highly recommended that you use the one minute time frame as well as the ASAP or instant start entry conditions just to make sure that things have been set up correctly. If we look at the bottom of the chart, we can see what time our most recent candle is. Go ahead and adjust the start time so it's 15 minutes ahead. We can see that all of our entry positions have disappeared. We've still got our blue background and we can expect that as time elapses, we'll have our first entry. This gives us a 10 to 15 minute window to finish the rest of the setup. If you'd like, you can verify the setup is correct by simply adjusting the time backwards by one hour. And we can briefly see how adjusting our start time impacts the chart. And I'm happy to see this as it confirms everything's functioning correctly. So let's bring it back. If you get a red exclamation mark in the top left like this, you can just check and uncheck the start and backtest button to reset. Now we want to go into Bybit derivatives, derivatives portal, trade now. And now up here, we want to find our coin, which was CHR. You would have got to here. In this example, we're going to be using 1x leverage with cross margin mode. 
but you can set this to whatever you'd like. Next, we're going to go to Tools, Webhook URLs, Create Now. I've confirmed it. Currently, one-way mode is supported, so you want to make sure that this doesn't say Hedge Mode. Give it a useful name. We're going to use Emu Test. Create the webhook. And now we want to copy this over into Trading View. Delete all the characters in this field and paste in your message. Next, we want to go up to Alerts, Create New Alert. Our condition is going to be the Advanced DCA tool. Order fills and alert calls. Now, if your Trading View account allows you to, set this to open ended. Otherwise, set it into the furthest date into the future. Give the alert a useful name. And now this is really important. In here, we're going to delete all of the characters and type in two curly open brackets, message with a capital M, and then two curly close brackets. There mustn't be any other characters in this field. It must just be this. Next, we're going to go to notifications. Adjust these settings to your preference. But the most important thing is webhook URL. Make sure this is checked. And now we're going to go back into Bybit. We're going to hit copy. Acknowledge and confirm. And paste that in here. Perfect. Hit create. And now we're going to sit and wait for our first entry. Boom. After a few minutes, we've seen the alert. You can have a look at it over here in the events log. You can also export it if you want to into a spreadsheet, which is really useful. And if we go over to Bybit, we can see we have our first entry. And there's our trade. You can go to Tools, Webhooks, and see it here as well. Active running, one trigger, and that's it. Thanks for watching today's video, and if you found it useful, drop us a like. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to get started trading, check out the Buy Me A Coffee page for a free trial. Cheers, bye.